So this video is going to be my December favorites of all of my favorite drugstore products. Now these are products that I have used before, these are some new products and some ones that I've sort of continually brought so kind of like my empties favorites as well so one of my all-time favorite products that i probably will use until i die is this batiste dry shampoo now this is you've probably seen me use this in vlogs talk about it before but it is 100 percent my ride or die when it comes to dry shampoo so this is the floral and flirty blush scent i honestly like I love it. It actually says on the back, it's UK's number one dry shampoo. It is my number one dry shampoo. They should use that on advertising. Um, but it is just like my all time favorite go-to dry shampoo. Um, I usually get this one in this scent. I did get it in a Bella box. I think it was last month. I got the tropical version, which actually smells really nice too. Um, but this one's just a lot more sort of fresh, fun, flirty, like just more summery that I really, really like it. Um, and yeah, I literally use this every week in my hair, which let's not tell anyone else that. Let's just keep it a little secret. But yeah, 100% best dry shampoo that I've ever, ever, ever used and will continue to use is this one. Um, so I got this one this month. This was $6.95 for this size tin, which is pretty decent. This is a 200 ml. You can also get these from supermarkets as well. But yeah, my number one favorite, favorite dry shampoo. Moving on to my next product for this month, it is the Palmer's Coconut Formula Hand Cream. Now, I have been loving hand creams lately. Because we're hand sanitizing all the time, I feel like my hands are constantly dry. So I've been sort of leaning towards and trying to find a really nice hand cream that is like complimentary but not too sort of fragrant. Um, so I picked up this one from from Palmer's and I've been a long time fan of their products before um, but just the scent is like honestly my favorite part I'll just show you guys the texture it's literally so like stable amazing and oh my god it is honestly like coconuts I honestly wish sometimes I could share with you guys the smell of things because obviously you know I sniff everything but it's so nice and was like um it's just so nice and it's not oily it doesn't leave like a really sticky residue on your hands which i love i hate when hand creams do that because i feel like you then can't do anything like after you've applied hand cream you have to like sit and wait and like flood your hands let them dry not at all this is like the most incredible feeling i've actually used a fair bit of this and i only got like a couple of weeks ago um so it says that no parabens no mineral oils no gluten no sulfates and no dyes and then it has 24 hour moisture. So I probably apply this two or three times a day because I'm just obsessed with the smell, but my hands have become so, so soft. I got this one, I think, oh, it would have been about four or five dollars. So relatively affordable for a hand cream. Um, and it is in 60 grams. So I mean, you're gonna get a fair bit of use out of that. Um, but yeah, I am absolutely loving this one. So if you guys want a really good hand cream and you've been searching for a while, go back to the good old Palmer's because you will not be disappointed. So I recently came across the Ultra 3 brand at my drugstore. I had purchased some of their nail polishes before, but none of their sort of cosmetic makeup range. And so I found this, um, this foundation. So the Ultra 3 Second Skin Foundation Radiant Finish in golden. Now, I didn't actually get to match this in store because of all the current COVID regulations. You can't test things or things like that. So I kind of chose a color that I thought was very similar. So I chose the color that I thought was more similar to my everyday foundation that I use. And I think I've done pretty well. So I've used this a couple of times now. I love the finish of it. I don't know if you guys have used this before, but I would 100% recommend getting your hands on it and trying it. It has a really nice applicator, which is super easy to use and put straight onto your skin. And I will just quickly show you guys the color. I'm not sure if you can see it on my hands. Uh, it matches quite well, so that's a good start. But it has a really, really nice finish. Now it does say that, um, mm -mm -mm. it says medium to full coverage, natural and radiant finish, a long wearing formula and paraben free. It definitely is like, it's definitely very, um, I, I, it's more of a medium coverage, I would say, but it just makes you feel like you're not caked on. It's a very, very nice lightweight formula. Um, and 
it is very long lasting. Like I, I don't really, I didn't do like a test or anything when I wore it, but I wasn't sort of feeling like I was oily at the end of the day or it's like I kind of wasn't wearing any makeup. So I was super impressed with this. I think this was about $11 I picked this one up for, um, but so far like so impressed with it. So, so the next one I picked up in the Ulta 3 brand was this matte lipstick in shade Peonies. Now it is almost like a really nice nudie color and I love, love the finish of it. So I'm just going to show you guys in the back of my hand. It's almost like a, it's like a softer pink. Um, I always kind of think it's like a really pale coral color. I absolutely love it. I've been wearing this one so much lately and it's just a really, really gorgeous finish on the, on your skin. It is a little bit shiny. Like they say it's matte, but I like for the most part, it definitely is, but it has like a really nice shine finish. I've been loving this color. I picked this up for $1.50. Like that is an honest bargain. Long wearing, like it's relatively good. Like I wouldn't say you'd wear it all day and it would still be there. It definitely does come off. But from memory, I had like about probably three or four hours worth of wear um, just with talking and drinking and it was perfectly fine. But I just love the color. It's such a complimentary color. It's like very feminine. It's, it's nice for summer. Um, and yeah, I just love, love this color. Other one that I picked up is from Revlon. So Revlon Kiss Cloud Blotted Lip Color. Now I think this is something that's new in their range. I've never come across, across this before. This is in shade Cashmere Mauve. So it's a cute little bottle. I actually didn't know what this was when I first picked it up. I was like, oh, what's this? And it's like a nice little new and improved um, packaging. So I have worn this before. I think the color, in my opinion, is like different in terms of the color that comes out to what it is in the, in the, in the, on the packaging. So it has the little applicator, which is really cute. And then I'm just going to swatch this. It's actually really quite dark. It's nice, but it's quite a darker finish on I think than what appears. Like I feel like the bottle is a lot more sort of pinkier, in my opinion. Um, but I also really like that. So these are kind of my two go-to colors that I've been wearing over the last sort of month or so. So I picked this one up for $11. So it was a little bit more expensive. And I especially think for the size, like you're not really going to get a lot out of that. But I was really keen to try it and see what it was all about. Honestly, I think I just brought it for the packaging. But I really enjoyed the color. It is actually very long last. And like the color will kind of stain your lips a little bit more. So you do get that effect of you are wearing lipstick. Um, but I really, really like this one as well. So as I said, these are kind of been my two go-to colors. So those are my favorites for December. Again, a very, very short recap on my favorite drugstore products for December. I would love to hear if any of you guys have used these products before and what you thought of them. Again, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.